Greetings, everyone, and welcome to The Effect. This is Harmony speaking, and apparently I have something stuck in my screen that I don't want there. There we go. That should be good enough. So, today is 6-11-2017, which is a Sunday. So, I just want to give a little update report. Um... Thank you. Uh, I should ask how to pronounce your last name. Guy Fox. Fox, Fox F, I, I say his wrong name. Um, I'll put his uh, YouTube channel in the description. He did a wonderful job making a, a video announcing, I think it was the first ever Texas. That's why I'm showing the state of Texas. And we just kind of called it the Dallas Fort Worth meetup. I think the first person was came from Austin, so that was the first person, furthest person, and you know we met in this area, and there was eight of us there, and we just had a completely amazing time. So thank you so much uh, for arranging the meeting, guy. Um, Scare performance arrived a, a little bit late because uh, he had discovered a new Medela fact. I'll be making a video on that soon. It was a, it was a crack of you know he sat down and he goes, "Hello, how's he say that?" He's like, "Hello, party people." <laughs> it just cracked. We all started laughing. Oh, it was great. We had a wonderful, uh, wonderful time. Um, we each had uh, different areas of uh, things we'd like to talk about, and everybody had a chance to talk. They're never low in the conversation. Where everyone was extremely respectful, even though we we don't all we don't all agree on everything. But hey, so what? We all you know can agree disagree, and it was just. Uh, just a beautiful flow and a natural energy. I just like felt love in the air the whole time, in my opinion. That was, that was kind of my experience of it. And with that, I'll say this thing. It cracked me up. So uh, Scarab Performance told me uh, I made that Bible video about, about genitals. And I am and I was, I, you know, I told him, I was like, you know, I was over dramatic on purpose. He's like, yeah, I know. And he says, he's kind of like, what's wrong with you, man? It, it always said you know that and and i was like well i, I know i i understand what you're saying I, um but i did go back to the greek and i went back to the the king james niv and uh, i did different various translations you know i have a couple of degrees in religion and i use the critical theological dictionary and i did rather extensive research and i understand um on you know his timeline and i agree with him when i saw it there was no change so he, he's like i don't get it so anyway so he admitted to me he did a parody i i this is hysterical the story is so funny guys it's, you're gonna laugh i had no idea he did a parody on me and so he's telling me about it and i didn't see it apparently he said when it got up to seventeen thousand hits he's like yeah this is turning into something mean and i don't want to do that it was funny in the beginning so he uh, that was the gist of what he said, I, I believe. And uh, so he took the video down. Maybe he's telling about it. So he's like, he's playing me going genitals, and he's playing me going you know, genitals. And then there's like this dancing dude around going, my genitals, my genitals. And he edited it. And I, I, he probably thought I was going to be offended, but I think we, we jived enough in person where he got the feeling that I would not be offended. So he, he took a risk and, and, and told me about the, the parody video. In my reaction, I was laughing. I was laughing so hard. Not only did the whole restaurant hear me, not and you know my laugh, folks. You should hear my laugh in person. It's loud. I, I, I admit it. I have one of the loudest laughs ever. You put it this way. If you ever go to a movie theater, you'll know I'm there because I, I laugh, and people stop laughing at the movie. People just start laughing at my laugh. I, 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 and, I, and, I'm, and I don't apologize for it because I'm not going to. I'm going to laugh as loud as I can. Laugh. So I'm laughing so loud. The whole restaurant's listening to me. It's scary. It's doing this story about him making a parody of me. And I'm, the, kid, the cook hit it. The, could hear me laughing. The front desk. Probably, my, I'm sure my voice echoed through the lobby in the whole hotel. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> I thought it was hysterical. I was not offended at all. And I totally understood what he was saying about, you know, how he didn't agree. And I was like, well, hey, you know, you know there's a perfect example because – I'm tracking six different Earths in my own group, and there's six different distinct, you know, hit, like versions of World War II. And then we got in the World War II stuff, and he told me stuff I didn't know. The Drazzle Dazzle ship cracked me up. You should have seen the reaction. Oh my gosh! Uh, he's like, I was like, what are you talking about? I was in the Navy. He's like, no, you just got looks. So I pull out my phone, I type in Razzle Dazzle, and I'm like, no, no, I can't believe it. I'm just, I'm like losing it and laughing hysterically at the same time. People are like laughing at me. We had such a great time. We're sharing. Uh, apparently I'm behind on Mandela effects and some other people here some new ones and oh my gosh I'm telling you we had a blast people we had a blast it was so much fun I cannot tell you I got there at 6 30 uh, p.m. 
and you know we had dinner we met in the lobby and then we had dinner together and then we went out afterwards and um you know we just relaxed and the next next thing i know it's it's one thirty in the morning it, it, the time went by so fast and um yeah and this guy he was totally <laughs> he was pretty wasted he came up and he he wanted a bum a cigarette he's like anybody got a cigarette i'll pay i'll pay a dollar for a cigarette. <laughs> but we're at this really nice hotel and this guy's I, I, he's either a golfer or a caddy they're they're for a professional event and they're all and like this the guy must have had like 200 his shirt must have been like a 200 dollar sh golf shirt and i mean this guy had top lines it was, it was right in his buddy i just anyway they're there for some golf tournament and they're all wasted and and he sits down has a cigarette and he's like he's like yeah i know about the Modelo effect and but oh it's so funny so he butted in our conversation so we started talking to strangers and um you know we had a great time and uh, yes, we did take pictures, but we I don't we agreed not to share them with the general public. But yes, pictures were taken, <laughs> and yes, I did let my photograph be taken. <laughs> I don't care if you meet me in person. Like I said, I show my face to my group, everyone in my group. You, to get in my group, you have to do a video call with me. So you not only do you have a picture of me, you you're going to be on a video call with me. So um, you know. <laughs> I'm not afraid to show my face. <laughs> Just I don't want to put it on YouTube. But anyway, um, uh, we, we, you know, we, we had such a great time. We agreed that, you know, we got to do this again. So hopefully uh, there'll be another event planned um, where some more people can show up. I know Ch Channel Zero is in Fort Worth, but um, for, I guess I forgot to remind him or somehow. But he's kind of tied up. I think I told him at one time and he didn't think he could make a bit. So maybe he'll make it next time. So we'll, we'll have a. Uh, Guy Fox, or I, 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 sorry, sorry, forgive me, say your name wrong. Um, you know, hopefully Scarab will show up again. I'll be there, on Channel Zero, and and then a bunch of other uh, people. Um, you know, that are just, you know, we're all just people. You know, at the end of the day, and some amazing people showed up that had I learned. I, in my opinion, I think I learned more than I shared. Um, and yes, I did share some stuff. Uh, um, that I won't go public with. That was kind of funny. I was like, "Well, hey, I'll tell you guys something I won't go public with." And so I, and I go, you know, and I, t I tell the story and immediately Scarab goes, "Yeah, I wouldn't go public with that." I go, "No, I don't. I don't plan to." He goes, "No, you shouldn't." I go, "No, I don't plan to." And it was like a, a like a comedy skit. And he's like, "You'd be better off not to." And I go, "Yeah, I know." He goes, "No, really, you'd be better off not telling that story public." I go, "Yeah, I, don't, I know." <laughs> it was kind of funny. He's like, "Now you know why I don't tell certain things to the general public." He's like, "Yeah, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it." <laughs> the reason um uh is is because it's not a personal story it, um i it, it's a it's a story that we cannot research and we cannot confirm it um and it's just it, it you know it could it could have been some troll to call him contact me and playing fun with me and, and telling me a completely bogus story but i'll tell you what it was one amazing story it was really amazing i hope it's not a true story but because we can't do the research and prove it. We can't confirm, confirm nor deny. Um, it's not a good idea to go public stuff. Actually, all my material, um, except for one video, and I'll tell you what that is in a moment, is my, in my, in my opinion, I'll just say, firsthand knowledge or comes directly from my true source, higher self, you know, true source, God creator, and it's, it's information either firsthand knowledge. I either know a firsthand insider that I meet with physically, not over telephone. So I have insiders I meet with in person. Um, so that's some information. Um, some information comes directly from my true higher self. Some information does come from my military background, what I used to do. So basically everything I do is, for, in my opinion, firsthand knowledge. Um, because I'm not going to talk, go on to YouTube and complete talk and complete insanity unless it's something, you know, I have a personal knowledge of. The one exception was World War II. Um, I met Chick on, her name's Chick, YouTube. And she made a video, and we were talking, and uh, she started talking about the World War II airplanes and how they were completely different on Earth and how the, how the B-29 didn't exist. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. But she was so sincere, and I could just feel the energy coming through the phone, and I just, my, it just resonated my whole body. I just knew that this girl was telling the truth. I just believed her. So I took a chance, and I even announced in the beginning of the video, I said, I always make a, a videos that I consider to be authority of, but here's one video that I have nothing, I know nothing about. And I made the video, and I, I was blown away at how many even people watched the video, and then people were making comments agreeing, like, yeah, we never had the B-29, we never had the B-38, the B a version of the B-17 dropped the bomb, and they're telling you where the guns were, and, and everybody's agreeing, basically everything this girl told me, everybody's putting in the comments and completely agreeing with this girl it just blew my mind away because for me it was the you know the v29 drop the bomb you know big boy or big boy i don't know 
because fat man and God, I'm sorry, I just went blank on the name of the bombs, but that's okay. They're bombs. Let's move on. What else did I want to talk about? Um, and of course, you know, we all exchanged uh, phone numbers, emails, and, and that kind of thing. And um, yeah, it was just uh, it's really a beautiful time. Is um, it's also very eye-opening to me because I get caught in my little world, and so it was nice to have uh, different perspectives uh, and to hear how people are experiencing the effect and their personal stories and their testaments. Um, boy, there was there's a couple times where you know I, I thought I was gonna have to take my napkin and wipe the the tears of joy out of my eyes. Um, I heard powerful statements of our Lord and Savior. Um, you know, how people um, had reached out and, and prayed basically for a miracle, to paraphrase, and the miracle arrived, but it wasn't what they had expected. And um, God is opening doors and showing them things in miraculous ways that they never thought would ever happen. And they are stepping out in faith and answering uh, those, those calls and, and being a spokesperson uh, for the Lord into this world. And, you know, it's just, it was just beautiful. Just beautiful stories. Um, I learned a lot. Um, like I said, I think I learned more than I shared, um, which is <laughs> the way it should go. I mean, thank God um, that I got to learn so much uh, from these. Just we were, well, really in reality, strangers. I had never talked to Scare Performance on the phone. We exchanged a couple of emails. That's it. Um, and Guy, um, you know, a couple of emails. Um, so in essence, we were all strangers and. You know, it's kind of funny when, so when I first walk in the lobby, they're all sitting around and, and they're all looking at me like, cause, cause I did give my description. I was telling them what I was wearing. I was like, Hey, I'm kind of fat. That's the funny part. Well, I am. But anyway, <laughs> so I walked in, I, I had this weird feeling they all recognized me. And then I waved and I said, hello, everybody. And I go, I'm Harmony. And, and like one or two of them go, yeah, I already know. Uh, recognize your voice. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. You know, it's kind of, it's, it's a trip to be able to shake hands with someone who's been watching my videos and, uh, you know, hear, hear, you know, how their life how it affected them and their stories. And, um, but it's the sharing of, uh, making this thing more personal. Um, that was just that's so very special making it personal and connecting with people and, you know, seeing where they're at and being able to look in their eyes and just, um, you know, it was just, so, so beautiful. And I'm just going to end it with that because it was, it was just a true blessing. Um, and it was an honor and a privilege to meet with these folks in the good old heartland of Texas. <laughs>